Special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Rusberg for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's to Wolfway here and welcome back to another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the UDS XX20 tank destroyer. The UDS or UDES XX20 was a tank destroyer project that was started in 1981 by Bofors, Haglin, and Sonar. Looked to develop a tank destroyer. It was not seen as a replacement for the STRV-103 or Sweden Centurions. The concept had a three-man crew in the front unit and a 120mm Rhine metal gun with Bofors muzzle brake. The rear unit contained ammunition, fuel, and the engine. Uh, the loading cycle took six seconds. The other two versions were looked at was an ATGW and an APC. In the later case, the engine was in the front unit and the rear unit contained crew of two and eight infantry and armed with a 20 millimeter gun. So yeah, pretty interesting vehicle we have here. Um, not really sure the reason behind it, to say the very least, um, considering it is kind of like a two, uh, basically separate kind of vehicle type thing. Kind of reminds me of like a little bit of like a scorpion from Halo for some reason. I don't know. It's just a weird looking vehicle altogether. Um, so basically the back unit is the engine, the powerhouse, which pushes and propels the rest of the vehicle. But instead of making it one vehicle, it's two different vehicles. So it's definitely a funky vehicle and definitely going to be something very unique on your world. And I don't think anybody's ever really done a tutorial or really has built this um to say the very least since it's just such an abstract and weird build um before we go ahead and take a look at it i want to go ahead and give a special thanks to patreon supporter derek frost westbrook for making this tutorial possible if you guys are interested in supporting the channel where you guys already do feel free to check out my patreon page link is always in my video descriptions where you can go ahead and pledge a small amount to the channel every month and in doing so earn a vehicle request to your choosing really helps support the work i do on my channel and is obviously greatly appreciated so again feel free to check it out again link is always in my video descriptions with that, however, let's go ahead and kind of take a look here at um, the uh, vehicle. So to start off with, we have our main gun here. This is a 120mm um, Rhine metal gun. So, uh, you know, pretty good sized gun here. We have uh, the different viewports here and kind of cupolas there for the crew mounted up here in the front um, and all that. So pretty nice detail in here for the front unit. The back unit is pretty much exactly the same in terms of kind of overall size. Um, However, the design's different here where it's a kind of flat topped vehicle here and doesn't house the gun. So back here is where our engine would be located and all that. And it has like this mechanism where it attaches up to the actual, um, you know, forward uh, unit and kind of is like an art articulating uh, type of thing. It, it, it's weird <laughs> to say the very least. I'm not sure how well this design would have worked and, you know, who knows, maybe it might have been uh, kind of groundbreaking, but... Anyways, the project that didn't really go anywhere, interesting vehicle, and uh, something definitely fun to add to our Swedish line. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our first layer here, we'll be going ahead and working on layer 1. For layer 1 to go ahead and get started with here, we'll be going ahead and placing down a narrow brick slab, followed by a narrow brick top slab that comes off of it like so. After we have that done, we want to go ahead and take a black shulker box, we're going to place down a shulker box like this, and then one on its side. Followed by a dark oak wood button, an item frame, and a green terracotta block in the item frame. If you're on a uh, bedrock edition of Minecraft, you will not be able to place an item frame and a button in the same block space. So if that's the case, just go ahead and disregard the button and place down the item frame. If you're on Java, you can do this. Um, but uh, again, bedrock, you are not able to. Anyways, after this, we're going to then place down two polished black stone stairs back to back. We're going to go then place down another black choker box on its side, like so. Again, the same thing again here, depending on your Minecraft version. Then again, two polished black stone stairs, back to back. And that right there is going to do it for uh, the front there and our tracks. And the last thing we need to do is place down our brick up sound stair. From this point here, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, dark oak wood tra trap doors. And we're going to be going ahead and going to these slabs here. We're going to place down one, two, and three over. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of dark oak wood top slabs. A second row of three, a third a fourth, a fifth, sixth, and seventh row of the dark oak with top slabs going back, and then an iron trap door coming off the first time of it. It's actually going to be one more row, so it's level with this nerve brick top slam. And we're going to then place down an iron trap door going back on the rear there like so. 
Once we get to this point, we're going to then place down a nether brick top slab here, slab, and we're just going to go ahead and copy the same thing we do over there on the left side of the vehicle, just over here to the right side. So just like this, going all the way back, our nether brick upside down stair, and we want to go and then place down our item frames here on these shortcut boxes, green terracotta blocks, and then again, if you're able to, dark oak with buttons as well. And that right there is going to basically finish our front unit. Going ahead and now move into our rear unit. We're going to be going ahead and skipping a space of one, two, three. So we're going to count back one, two, three. And then our fourth block here, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a narrow brick slab. So again, we have one, two, three. And then we're going to have a narrow brick top slab right here, followed by a narrow brick slab. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing over here on this side as well. At this point right here, we're just going to go ahead and basically copy what we did in the front. So the same exact thing. Row 3 of dark oak with trap doors, row 3 of dark oak with top slabs, and for our tracks here, the same thing. So we're just going to go ahead and basically do this real quickly. If you need to, you can refer to the front unit uh, to see exactly what we did, but for the most part, it's going to be exactly the same thing, just like this going back. And we're going to go ahead and place down our narrow brick upside down stair here on the very back, like that. Again, don't forget your dark oak with buttons, item frames, and green terracotta blocks here on the side of the shulker boxes. And going over here to this side, we're going to go and repeat the same exact thing. So just like this, going back. And our two polished blocks downstairs, our narrow brick upside down stair. And then on the side here, our item frames, green terracotta blocks and item frames, dark oak with buttons, and that right there is going to do that. And we then want to take our dark oak with top slabs and just fill in the space here in the middle between our road wheels here to fill in the hall. And that right there is going to come all the way back to this point, and that right there is going to basically wrap up what we have there for the main vehicle. We're going to be going ahead and moving into a uh, addition, which is going to be making these banners to kind of uh, better make our road wheel type design. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and move in and grab the materials we're going to need for our banners, and from there we'll uh, go ahead and continue on with the tutorial. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our uh, banners here. So for our banners, we're just going to need two green banners for black dye and a loom. We're going to go, and go into our loom and for our first green banner we're going to place into our loom and our black dye. We're going to select the line over here on the, uh, or actually sorry, we want to select the line in the center here. So we're going to split the banner in half with black on the left side, green on the right side, and it's going to be our first banner here. Our second banner, we're going to go ahead and split it with the black on the right side. So again, split down the center, black on the right side, like so. We're going to go ahead and put both uh, banners back into our loom and we want to go and do the line that goes directly across the center here. And same thing right here, just like that. And once we have that all complete there, we're going to go to the sides of our wheels. And we're going to put these banners in place like this on the wheels. We want it so that the, or on the two uh, polished black stone stairs. We want it so that the green is facing toward each other, like this on both sides. And that's going to go and basically create our road wheel design here. And that's going to go ahead and apply to every single one of these two stairs. And once you have that done, you look at it from the side here, you have a nice look. For, or a nice design there for the road wheels. With that all complete there, that's going to complete what we have for the banners, and with that, that's going to conclude layer one. Let's go ahead and move on to layer number two. I guess going ahead and moving into our next layer, we go ahead and moving into layer number two. For layer two, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to take a green shulker box, place it on side on top of this narrow brick top slab, and same thing over here as well with our two green shulker boxes. We then want to take our green terracotta, fill in a row of three across between those shulker boxes, and then to the sides here, we're going to place down a narrow brick stair, coming off these. Shulker boxes like that to both sides. From that, we're going to then take our dark oak signs. We're going to wrap them around the uh, two sides here of the stairs, so the front of the stair and then the sides. And after that, we're going to go and take our green stained glass panes and place them in row three across in between those stairs. Once we have that done there, we want to go and go to the sides here on our shulker boxes. We're going to place down an item frame and a cobweb. Same thing over here, an item frame and a cobweb. And if you are on a Java edition, we can go ahead and also place a dark oak button on the side of that shulker box as well. Once we get to this point here, we're going to place down a row of three green terracotta across. We're going to go then place down a row of five across, followed by a row of three, then a row of five, a row of three, and another row of five like this going all the way across. After that's done, we want to go and then place down a dark oak with top slab in those spaces there, all the way along the side here, and then we're going to place down dark oak with signs on the sides here of those top slabs. Same thing over here as well. After that, we want to go and then take our dark oak buttons. We're going to place down dark oak buttons on the side of these green terracotta blocks. All the way along the side there. 
And after that, we're going to then place down a row of three of green terracotta across the center here and a second row of three. We have two dark oak with top slabs here to both sides. On the sides of those top slabs, we're going to place down dark oak with signs. Same thing over here. After that, uh, we want to go then place down a dark oak with stair coming off the slab. Same thing over here. And we then want to place down a anvil here, very center. And then we're going to go and place down a wither skeleton's skull to both sides of this anvil, like that. We're going to go then place down another green terracotta block going back from the anvil, followed by a second green terracotta block. And we're going to go and then place down a row of three of green terracotta across. At this point here, we're going to go and then grab ourselves our green shulker boxes again. We're going to place down a green shulker box on both ends of that row of three. An item frame on the sides here, cobweb, and a dark oak wood button. Again, if you're on Java, same thing over here as well, like so. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a narrow brick stair. We're going to place down a narrow brick stair, come off these two shulker boxes to both sides here. And we're going to then take our dark oak with signs, wrap them around the front and sides here of the stairs. Same thing over here as well, just like that. And after that's done, we want to go and then take our green stained glass panes. We're going to place down a green stained glass pane here in both corners, just like that. And we're going to go ahead and also place down a zombie head here on the sides of this green terracotta block like that. Once we have that done, we're going to go and basically do the same thing we did up here for this uh, vehicle. So we're going to place down three green terracotta blocks. Uh, we then follow, want to follow this up by row four, or sorry, row five, row three, row five, a row three, and a row five. On the sides here, one, two, three, dark oak with top slabs, and same thing over here, one, two, and three. We're going to go ahead and also grab our dark oak with signs, place out a sign here on the side of these slabs, go all the way on the side here, dark oak with buttons. Over here, same thing, like this. Dark oak with signs on the side here, on the signs, and just like that, going all the way down. And after we have that done, uh, we want to go then place down a row of three green terracotta blocks, and a dark oak with top slab to both sides. Dark oak with sign here on the sides, like so. Um, after that's done, we want to go then place down a dark oak with top slab to both sides. Dark oak with sign here. To the side of those slabs, and we want to go and then place down a dark oak trap door, come off the side of the slab like that, going back. And we just want to place down a row of three of mossy cobblestone walls across the center here, item frame to both sides, and in those item frames, we're going to place down tripwire hooks, which are going to be rotated facing downwards, like so. And after we have that all done right there, that is going to wrap up what we have there for layer number two for the build. Here's what it looks like from up above, and uh, with that, we'll go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number three. I guess going ahead and move into our next layer, we have layer number 3. For layer 3 to go ahead and get started with, we're going to place down a green carpet on top of these two narrow brick stairs. After that, going back from it, we're going to place down a dark oak with fence post to both sides. And a fence gate coming off these fence posts, just like that. After that's done, also on top of those fence gates, we're going to place down a zombie head here at a slight angle facing toward the inside here. I'm just going to go ahead and do it now so I don't forget to do it later. After we have that done, in the space in the middle here, we're going to place down a row of three of daylight detectors. And if you are on Java Edition, we can go and place down an item frame on these two fence posts, and we can place down snowballs in those item frames. If you're on Console Edition, this is something you won't be able to do. If you do keep the carpets, you can delete the carpets if you want to, and, and then include the, um, the item frames. But that's something you would have to modify for yourself and um, go from there. Anyways, from this point here, we're going to go and then take our dark oak with slabs. We're going to place down a row of five across. After this, we want to go and then place down a row of three of green terracotta across, followed by a dark oak with stair to both sides. After that, we're going to go and then place down one and two, dark oak with stairs back, one and two, and then one, two, three, one, two, three across the space in between those stairs. Once we get to this point, we're going to place down two polished black stone stairs on both sides here, rows, two rows of three of green terracotta between those stairs. And we're going to place down a narrow row of three of green terracotta across here. And dark oak with stair again on both sides like that. After we have that all done, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a row of three of green terracotta across. A stone brick wall to both sides. And we're going to then place down a dark oak with top slab here. And after that, come off the top slab, we're going to place down a dark oak with trap door. Um, after that's all done, we want to go ahead and then place down a chain. It's going to be coming off these two green terracotta blocks. And we then want to go and place down a wither skeleton skull here at a slight angle on top of those zombie heads, just like that. 
And after that's all uh, complete there, uh, we're going to go ahead and continue on back to our rear vehicle. So for this, we're going to place down a row 3 of daylight detectors across, a row 3 of dark oak with slabs across, and then grabbing our mossy cobblestone walls, our dark oak with fence gates, and also our end rods. We're going to place down two mossy cobblestone walls here on both sides. We're going to go then place down a dark oak with fence gate, coming off those walls, and then we're going to place down one and two end rods going forward to connect up to those stone brick walls. So just like that on both ends. After that's done, we're going to place down another row of three green terracotta across the center and a dark oak with stair to both sides. However, at this point here, we're going to go and then take our mossy cobblestone walls and we're going to run a row of one, two, three, four, five mossy cobblestone walls on the side and same thing over here, one, two, three, four, and five. And the space in between the walls, we're just going to fill in with green terracotta blocks. So just like this. And we're going to then take our dark oak signs and run them on the sides here of these walls. Like so. So just like that. And over here, same thing. Like so. And once we have that all done, we're going to then place down a dark oak stair on both sides here. And we then want to go ahead and grab a black black concrete blocks and place down a row three across and a row three ladders across as well. We then want to place down an item frame there on those two stairs. A red stained glass pane or block in those item frames and then a dark oak sign on the sides here of the stairs. Just like that. And after that's all done there that is going to pretty much wrap up what we have there for layer number three for the build. And uh, with that let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number four. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 4. For layer 4, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go and take our iron bars, we're going to place them down top of these fence posts, and we're just going to place down 3 up from this fence post, just like this. Same thing over here as well. After we have that done, we want to go and then place down a zombie head here on this green terracotta block, then one at a slight angle here to both sides of it. Behind that uh, zombie head, we're going to place down a spruce wood slab, followed by a daylight detector here to the side, and then in there, a dark oak wood stair. We're going to go and then place down a dark oak wood slab behind this spruce wood slab and then another dark oak wood stair located here. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a stripped spruce log. We're going to place it down on top of this green terracotta block and we're going to go then take a mossy cobblestone wall and place it down on the side here of this block like so. Going back from this block we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair and we want to go then place down zombie heads here coming off the sides there of those stairs just like that. And after we have that all done, we're going to then place down a dark oak slab here next to the stair. And then another dark oak stair next to it. Uh, after that, we want to go and then place down a spruce wood log right here. A dark oak stair to uh, this side here of the log. And then right here, a dark oak slab. And after we have that done, we then want to go ahead and place down a mossy cobblestone wall coming off the side of this uh, stripped spruce wood log. And then a zombie head coming off the side of that stair. At this point right here, we're going to then take our dark oak stairs, we're going to place down a dark oak stair here to both sides, and in the center space between the stairs, we're going to place down a slab. We then want to go and go back from the stairs, two green terracotta blocks on both sides, and then in the middle space here, we're going to take our dark oak slabs and place down a row of three going back. We also want to go and grab dark oak buttons, and on the sides here of these green terracotta blocks, we're just going to place down two dark oak buttons to the sides there. Going back to this section here, we're going to go to their second row of three of green terracotta. We're going to place down a row of three of daylight detectors. We then want to place down a row of three of dark oak wood slabs. Following it up, we're going to place down a row of three of spruce wood slabs. A second row of three of spruce wood slabs, except this row here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence post on both ends. We're going to then place down another row of three of green or dark oak wood slabs, and then another row of three directly after that, and this time a zombie head here on these two stairs with the face of the zombie head facing toward the rear. And uh, that right there is going to basically complete what we have there for layer number four. And uh, with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number five. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five, we're going to get started with. We're going to place down a dark oak uh, trap door on top of this uh, stair. And then a zombie head here at a slight angle to both sides of that trap door. Coming off the trap door, we're going to place down an item frame and then a green bed rotate on side in the item frame. If you are on Java Edition, we can go ahead and also take a dark oak wood sign and place a dark oak wood sign on the side of that. Uh, slab as well, like that for a bit of extra detail. After that, we're going to then place down a stone button on top of this uh, spruce wood, uh, stripped spruce wood log, green terracotta block on top of this one here, and then one block going forward from those, like so. 
We then want to place down a dark oak top slab, coming off those two blocks or that block like that, and then a dark oak button on the sides of those blocks like so. Uh, after that's done, we want to go and then take our dark oak top slabs, and uh, we're going to place down a row of or one here in the center, and then we're going to go ahead and go back from that one, two, three, and four. And also coming off the front here, that center slab, we're going to place down a dark oak sign. Or sorry, dark oak dark oak trap door. Anyways, once that's all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have there for layer 5, and with that we're going to move into our final layers here, which will consist of layers 6 and 7. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and move into our last final layers. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into our last final layers here, we have layers 6 through 7. For these layers to go ahead and get started with here, we want to go ahead and place down a green terracotta block on top of this dark oak top slab here. We then also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a uh, anvil. And we're going to place down an anvil back from that, and we're going to then grab ourselves a green terracotta block. And we're going to place down a green terracotta block back from that with a dark oak button on the side there. We're going to take dark oak trap doors and wrap them around the three sides here of that green terracotta block there on the rear. Also on the sides of the anvil here, we're going to place down a zombie head to both ends. And we then want to go and place down a dark oak fence gate going forward from that zombie head like so. We're going to place down there a green terracotta block, dark oak slab to both sides. Another green terracotta block here in the center, and after that we want to go and then place down a green circle box coming off both sides of that green terracotta block. On the sides here of those uh, circle boxes, we're going to place down an item frame, a green terracotta block in the item frame, and if you're on co or, uh, Java, you can go and place a dark goo button there as well. Same thing over here. After that, we're going to go and then take a green terracotta and place down two blocks going forward. Uh, we then want to place down a zombie head here on the sides of this green terracotta block. And we're going to then take our polished blackstone walls and go one, two, three, four, five, and six walls going forward. Fall by a black concrete block on the tip here, dark oak wood button on the tip, and then a dark oak wood sign to both sides of this polished blackstone wall. And after we have that done, uh, we want to go and then go to the top here of the gun. We're going to place down a dark oak wood stair on top of this green terracotta block and then going forward from the stair we're going to grab an end rod place an end rod forward like so followed by a dark oak slab and then a dark oak sign on the side of the slab and once you have that all complete there that's going to wrap up uh, my design here for the UDES XX20 tank destroyer hope you guys do enjoy the build and are able to put it to good use if you do end up using this build I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it this be anything from some of the build tweet my channel or this video if this does appear in any social media sites as long as you guys give me proper credit for the build you're free to use your favorite projects you guys are working on overall enjoy the build have fun with it and all that fun stuff um, again make sure special links to patreon supporter Derek Frost Westbrook for making this tutorial possible and uh, feel free to check out my patreon page link is always in my video dude video descriptions. With that though, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gear204 and I'll see you guys next time.